Is it cool? Virtual reality, augmented reality, mixed reality. If you're a gamer, you are probably familiar with these terms. It could be the future of video games. Our Mike County's in Los Angeles for the Electronic Entertainment Expo, the world's largest gaming event, and got a first-hand look at where games are headed in today's Daily Download. Hello everyone, welcome to the download. We're at E3 inside the Xbox booth where I would say one of the show's best kept secrets is. Now I say secret because it's not on the show floor. You have to know somebody to go hands on with what I saw and that's HoloLens, a mixed reality experience. Now the technology is so new we weren't allowed to bring our camera inside but this is what HoloLens looks like uh, thanks to Microsoft for supplying the footage here. It's similar to virtual reality but you can see your surroundings at all times. Instead what happens is holograms appear within the real environments. No one else can see them just you. So they had me walk through a series of corridors, almost making me feel like I was inside a spaceship. And as I walked, arrows would appear in thin air, directing me where to go. I ended up in a briefing room with a pedestal where a hologram character gave me a mission, complete with 3D maps of an environment that I'd be exploring. The image you're seeing now is one of the images I saw. I could walk around the map, look at all the details. Remember, I could still see my real environment at all times. I was then escorted into a room where I took off HoloLens and I had the chance to play the upcoming coming Halo 5 multiplayer experience. Very cool technology, could be a game changer and easily one of the highlights of this year's E3 and something to keep an eye on. Now I also had the chance to go hands-on with Morpheus, Sony's virtual reality headset. A very different experience from HoloLens. It's much more immersive, but it's interesting because it's also multiplayer virtual reality. I could interact and play with other players who had Morpheus headsets on. The game was called Rigs and you're inside a giant robot. You have to battle other mechs. The interesting thing with Morpheus, unlike HoloLens, is you are completely immersed. You know, I could look around my environment I could look at the cockpit of the mech around me. There's really nothing like it when it comes to gaming. However, a little bit of a catch here. You are moving in the game, but in real life, you're sitting down. So it messes with your senses. And some people, including myself, after some time, well, it's easy to start feeling a little bit nauseous. It's not something I could play for very long. It took me a while to get my bearings back afterwards. The developer says the more you play, the less motion sickness you get. It certainly is quite the experience, and it makes you wonder, is this the future of gaming? Who knows, maybe everyone will have a Morpheus or HoloLens in their living room within the next couple of years. I'm Mike Yanni in Los Angeles, and for now, your download is complete. He's having fun. I think. Is he ever? But it's a fun world. Yeah, it is.